Well, here it is the day after. What I can tell you is it's chilly. Um, so clearly there was a cold front coming through, whether the storm was or not. I'm going to come through the gate here. See, there's a Hilton. Hilton! Morning! Morning. Um, now, I should probably preface this. This is not a post-Hurricane Ian update. This is more of a uh, tropical storm update. The folks uh, down in Lee County, they took the pounding. Uh, their lives will be changed. Uh, that, that town will not be the same for at least six months to a year. Uh, the thing that is really important about this one here is this thing just moves so slow. The rain amounts were just an oh, amazing amount. Uh, I never lost power. Um, ended up winning the bet. The, the peak wind gust at the airport nearby here was 51 miles an hour. And uh, so we just got some leaves in the road here. It's pretty good. You know, so other than the, the street sweepers out here get the leaves cleaned up, but let's take a look. I know a lot of folks, especially customers who haven't moved in yet, probably have concerns about your structures. And so, uh, this is unedited. I'm just, this, I'm just getting in right now. Uh, the sun's supposed to rise in about 10 minutes. So, with the cloud overcast, actually through the camera, and I'm looking through the camera. The camera makes it look lighter than it is. Um, roads look good. Real good. Matter of fact, this doesn't look any different than any other morning coming in. So I'll do the left side window thing. Now it's going to take me all morning to walk every single unit. I'm sure you don't want to film me doing four hours of that. All right. Let's take a look on the left side of Timbers. The door's still stacked up. Uh, I was expecting to see more dirt in the road than this. But anyway, let's just focus on the structures. Those windows still, or doors still stacked up. Those windows still stacked up, looking good. I was expecting, where there's no sidewalk, I was expecting to see more dirt and mud pushed into the uh, road. All those trim packs are looking good. Let's see, these are all closed here, so good shape. Another thing of note, <clears throat> I cannot, let me see if I can see any of the water levels of this retention pond back here. Can't really tell. It looks like they did their job. Oh no, we're going to have to rebuild. <sighs> All right. That porta potty still sitting in there. That trim still right there. Now, there's a resident that lives right there. I don't think, I don't want to walk beside their home and spook them. Uh, let's take a look at. So, <clears throat> good job, Tom, uh, with Republic Services, of getting uh, all those dumpsters out that had a lot of trash in them. So, there's a good thing I did not do the uh, final grade here. Oh, we got to rebuild a porta potty. Another one. Another one. So we had north winds really strong, and this, uh, the direction I'm driving is almost due north. Um, another porta potty. Okay, these are all closed, so these look pretty good. So let's go down the left side of timber. There we go. I do want to check out this uh, the retention pond because if when the retention pond overflows it then goes into the preserve 21 122 123 124 yeah so let's check out the retention pond two of them let's go See, I tied up all the windows and doors here as a precaution. Let's check out the uh, 
retention pond. Everything's looking fine in here. A little water. It blew through the, uh, we're not even dried in this roof yet. Look at the retention pond. Looking, that is really good. Looking good. All right. All right, let's check out this other one here. Across the street. And, uh, <clears throat> now again, for those folks down in Lee County, Collier, oh, yeah, those real low areas, and when you get that storm surge right on the kisser, <sighs> but like my house it was 50 years old this year, um, my house would not survive a direct hit like that. I, I've been up in my attic many times and adding uh, structural lumber to my all the big gables that I have because you can't build my roof line anymore in this state and so every time we get hit on the kisser houses like mine that are not fully 100% into code and I'm getting knocked down and then rebuilding with the new codes and we're just stronger going forward and uh, so we could see the evidence of the water running through here you could see that and this retention pond's looking pretty good well, it'd be nice if the pond was turned on Silt fence held up well. I don't see any big runoff of dirt right into the, the pond. Okay. Got to fix a fence. And that fence. Okay. All right. Final fence. All right. That fence held up pretty good. That one's closed in there. So, anyway. I'll just keep walking a little bit. But... Um, I was expecting a little more mud runoff. Looks like we might have had a teeny bit right here. Teeny bit, okay. Now, these other folks are closed. I don't want to st stare at their fence. But so let's say, for instance, we lost three fences and uh, four or five porta potties knocked over. Six knocked over. These ain't too bad here, I'll show you. Should be able to do this with one hand. Should. Yes, here she goes. A little sloshing around there. A little waffle carbon. Whew. But I think I think we're gonna be okay. <laughs> 